Hello and welcome back to yet another graphical interpretation question. This question is actually testing how attentive you are. Right. And this comes back to our principle of owning the data set. So with this thing in mind, let us begin our journey. In the graph, each circle represents an individual star. Okay. The position of the circle center indicates the star's temperature in Kelvin. Okay. Temperature in Kelvin and its luminosity. Luminosity, rate of energy emission. Okay. Relative to that of the sun. So what are the values? 1, 10 to the, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 4. So basically these values are luminosity of that particular star divided by luminosity of our sun. So this value equals to 1 would mean that both the values are equal. This value of 10 would mean that the star is 10 times more luminous than our sun. So on and so forth. Moving ahead. Note that the higher temperatures are to the left. Okay. Higher temperatures are this side and the temperatures keeps on decreasing. Okay. The size of the circle indicates the relative physical size of the star and the labels indicate the type of the star shown. Understood. Makes sense. Now what I would want you to look here is, see, we are in a habit of seeing that, okay, these are identical gaps, but are they identical gaps? The gap here is basically of 99. The gap here is basically of 10,000 minus 100. So these gaps are not equal on Y axis. What about X axis? The gap here is 20 K. The gap here is 10 K. The gap here is 5 K. So again, this question becomes very interesting in the way because we are in a habit of looking graphs in a certain way and this simply doesn't follow that. So it is very important that you read everything, each and every small detail, own the data set, truly be in that owner's mindset, do not make any assumption about anything. Read what is given, understand what is given, do not make your own assumptions. Having said that, let's move forward. Select for, from each of the drop down menus the option that creates the most accurate statement based on the information provided. If it is assumed that one of the stars on the graph represents the sun, it must be that the sun is a... So what we understood was for sun, the value would be 1. So what lies in 1? The main sequence stars. Okay, pretty easy question in and out. Moving ahead. Apart from the main sequence stars, okay. So main sequence star, where are those? Main sequence stars start from here all the way main sequence stars apart from these okay apart from main sequence stars the group of stars with the greatest range of temperature is the group of greatest range of temperature so basically how much is the width of those type of stars on our y-axis right now if you would see just visually these two basically white dwarfs and red giants seem similar in terms of width but as we had seen earlier that this delta is not the same as this delta. So this delta is bigger here of say around 20k something. So see, this would be at what? This would be at around uh, 35k maybe. This would be say at around uh, 15k. So the delta is of 20k here, but here the delta is pretty small. If you see right from here to here, this would be what? So see, you can still, this is less than 10,000 and you're subtracting something from 10,000, which would obviously be less than 20,000. So easy answer is white dwarf. So the idea again is to be very careful with the options, with the question, with the labeling, everything. Hope this question helped. Thanks a lot.